YouTube, what's up? Um, I actually got a question a few, maybe a week ago on Instagram, and it was just about like forgiveness and sinning, and like if I keep sinning and I keep like repeating the same sin over again, it's like my repentance real and like everything around that, and like you guys know, and, and what I talk about just in my testimony and in my life story with pornography and, and even weed and, and different things like that, where I just like yeah i got free from it but even like i've been free for like three years or so but even still like back when i was just trying to get over it like i stopped doing it and then i kept doing it again it's like yo how to like how do i know if my repentance is even real and i think a good thing to do is actually to know like to learn what repentance mean and it means like to turn away to turn away from your sin to turn away from that lifestyle and, and turn back to god so when your heart is like back on the lord like that's what it truly means to to repent to not just say uh, I kind of don't want to do it or like but actually to turn away from it to, to turn away from the mindset to turn away from believing the lie to turn away from believing everything that that lifestyle brings on and I think that's one of the biggest things that that helped me is like you have to in your repentance you have to like it requires action it requires a like I said, a turning away. So you, you, on this way, you were thinking about, you know, you might've been thinking about pornography and you might've been thinking about like, you might not have been filling your mind with any scripture, but when you actually repent, you start to think about scripture. You start to think about how can I like fill my mind so I don't do this sin again? How can I have the heart of God? You start praying, you start just trying to get in a deeper relationship with God. It sounds like the simplest things and it sounds like things we already know, but it actually has an effect on, on your life. And it actually is inquired in, repentance now we do serve like a good god and he's merciful and he gives forgiveness to us but there's only so far forgiveness can go there's this one story that i really like and not a story but it's an example um and it's if a judge keeps giving a murderer who who murdered someone mercy and it says okay i'm not gonna send you to jail but just don't do it again and he goes out and murders someone again and the judge says okay i'm not gonna send you to jail but just don't do it again and he murders someone again how many times does the judge keep saying, I'm going to have uh, mercy and, and, and not send you to jail before the, the murderer never stops murdering people? He's, he keeps murdering people. And, and the moral of that is just that God can keep giving forgiveness. But like, if we don't stop the sin, if we don't turn to him, like there's no point of giving forgiveness anymore. Forgiveness is so that we can turn back to him. But if that effect is no longer working, what's the point of it? So that's kind of way... Um, God has like given me to see just repentance and forgiveness. It's not like something that we can just keep on doing, you know, like God actually does have a requirement and, and when we repent, when we like ask for forgiveness, it's not just so we can just go back and do it a thousand times, but God is just like, I'm trying to show you my goodness, just tap a little deeper, just grow a little bit, bit more in me and I'll show you so much more about myself. And also I got this question too, it was like, like, how do you know you're saved and how and yeah like if you if you continue on in sin if you continue on just rebelling against the spirit of god like how do you know if you're saved like you're <laughs> but the truth of the matter is is that like when you have that un uncomfortable feeling like and you don't know and you have that uncomfortable feeling and sin still bothers you like you know that God is still tugging on your heart And he's still calling you and he's saying my child like repent and come to me So the biggest thing is just that like walk in relationship with God like Start filling your mind start walking in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh like but don't just Don't just say God forgive me and repent, but then you don't change anything about your lifestyle It, it requires some change it requires some things to turn away from and turn to God so turn away from sin turn to God and hopefully this video encouraged you to take action and yeah and know that it's out of love like God is doing these things because he knows that sin is not going to uh, satisfy you is not going to appease you is not going to do anything God's just saying like I have so much more if you would just come and that's just something I've learned man so thank you guys for watching this video and uh God bless.